so let's talk about vectors so I have a question which is saying uh, a vector a has a magnitude of 30 meters at an angle of 200 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis if we add a vector b it is found that the resultant is along the positive x-axis and has the magnitude of 10 meters what are the component of vector b and its direction so let's come up with a free body diagram if this happened to be my xy plane we have been told that we have got vector a which is 30 meters at an angle of 200 degrees with respect to positive x-axis meaning starting from positive x-axis until where 200 degrees is so 200 degrees can be it is in the third quadrant so I'll say that angle is here or that vector in short vector a which is 30 meters so from that point to that point that is our 200 degrees then we don't know vector b but we've been told that if vector b is added it was found that the resultant vector is along positive x-axis going in that direction that is my resultant so our resultant vector is 10 meters okay so the question is find the component so we need to find the the component of vector b and the direction so we need first to resolve the basic idea behind vectors is to resolve the vector each vector into x and y component in this case I have to resolve each vector into x and y component so let's resolve now a now in x what we normally do is it is a that vector cos theta so meaning the x component of vector a is 30 cos the angle is 200 degrees so here if I do 30 cos 200 it's going to give me 30 cos 200 it's going to give me negative 28.19 negative 28.19 meters now if I go to y component of vector a we'll find that a y will be equal to a sine theta so a y will be equal to my a is 30 sine 200 degrees so the, the y component of vector a is 30 sine 200 and I'm getting negative 10.26 meters now I also have vector b so the bx I don't know the by I don't know it's the one we are trying to find now so we have to find again the resultant vector now the x component of the resultant so we'll say the rx will be equal to r cos theta the rx will be the r is 10 the theta is when the vector is lying toward positive x axis the angle is 0 if it is going toward negative x axis the angle is 180 if it is going toward positive y axis the angle is 90 toward negative y axis the angle is 270 so in this case since the question is saying the resultant vector is saying that uh, it is found that the resultant is along the positive x axis meaning the angle is 0 degrees so I'll say the rx will be equal to 10 okay so I'll say 10 cos 0 which is 10 okay again I find the y component of the resultant r y will be equal to r sine theta so I have 10 sine 0 r y will be equal to 0 so if you do 10 sine 0 is 0 so I need to add 
I need to add the x component. So I'll say the result and which is going to be rx, R, rx is as a result of ax plus bx. So rx is 10. My ax is negative 28.19 plus bx. So now the question is find the components of vector b. I have to shift this to the other side so it's going to be 10 plus 28.19 is equal to bx. Okay, now in this case, what I'm going to do is I'll say 10 plus 28.19. So I'm getting my bx to be equal to 38.19 meters. That is the x component of vector b. I'll put it here. 38.19 meters. I should also go ahead and find the, the by. So I'll say the ry will be equal to the ay plus by. So ay is 0 or ry is 0 then ay is negative 10.26 plus by. I shift negative 10.26 to the other side is going to be 10.26 is equal to by so my by now is my by is 10.26 meters so we have answered the first part find the com what are the components of vector b so the x component is 38.19 meters the y component is 10.26 meters the next thing is we need to find the direction. How do you find the direction? To find the direction, you need to know where this this vector b is going to be. Is it going to be in the first quadrant or the second quadrant? If this happened to be my xy plane, okay. So I know that this is the positive x-axis, negative y, negative x, positive y. At the same time, we know that this is the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, the fourth quadrant, like that. The next thing we have to know now is that eh, when you are resolving the vector you are trying to find, or the direction you are trying to find, in this case we are talking about B. So if the X component of that vector is positive, and the Y component is also positive, what do we do? We know that to find the direction is theta is equal to tan, inverse the y component divided by the x component so what you do is when you plug in the values here the answer you are going to find if the x component is positive the y component is positive meaning this vector falls in the first quadrant because in the first quadrant that's why I can see that x is positive y is positive meaning it is this quadrant now in the first quadrant when you plug in the values here the theta which you are going to find that is the answer that is the first point the second one is if you discover that the x component of the vector you are trying to find is ne is negative the y component is positive what do you do we can clearly see that eh, this is going to be in the second quadrant in the second quadrant that's where i can see negative y x there so it will be in this quadrant so it will be in the second quadrant so the theta you are going to find here, you are going to say to find the actual angle, you say 180 minus the theta you are going to find using that formula. So when you are plugging in the values here, you ignore the negative. Okay? You just plug in positive values only in this formula. The next thing now is if x is negative, then the y is also negative, meaning it is in the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, when you find the theta here, you say this theta plus 180, that is the actual angle you are trying to find. Then if x is positive, y is negative. It is in the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, you say 360 minus the theta you are going to find here. That is the actual angle you are trying to find, provided that you are plugging in the negative values only in this formula. So in this case, I can clearly see that eh, my x component is positive, my y is also positive. It is in the first quadrant. So in the first quadrant, I'm going to say theta is equal to tan inverse. 
I'll say by divided by bx like that so theta will be tan inverse my by is 38.19 my bx is 10.26 now that we have discovered that this angle is going to be in the first quadrant in the first quadrant just know that it's supposed to be in the range of 0 to 90 if you get out of this range your, calcul your calculations are totally wrong so I'll say shift done open brackets 38.19 divided by 10.26 okay so if I do shift done open brackets 38.19 I divide it by 10.26 I close the brackets so I don't know what's happening with my calculator it's performing okay so turn inverse open brackets 38.19 divided by 10.26 Okay, so I'm getting 74.96, which is the same as 75 degrees. So that's the direction of vector B. So the x component and the y component we have money to find, which are these, then that's the direction. So you say 75 degrees above positive x axis or with respect to positive x axis. Okay, that is it for this one.